According to e-commerce expert William Worship from Vendula, London, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, is the most fashionable royal in the British royal family. To determine this, William looked at monthly Google searches for all the British royals, and Catherine came out on top. Princess Beatrice also made the top five, which experts claimed may be a shock to many. Catherine's fashion choices received an average 7,450 searches per month last year. Her top fashion moment, or the most Googled, was her wedding dress. More than a decade later, it seems that Britons are still searching for information or pictures of the Sarah Burton-designed Alexander McQueen gown. Meanwhile, Meghan made a statement in Los Angeles recently, wearing an understated yet expensive outfit, and some experts say that Meghan Markle's curated closet is not earning her fans in comparison to Catherine's more sustainable wardrobe. Markle stepped out for lunch at the trendy vegan eatery Gracias Madre, wearing one of her signature monochrome ensembles, the all-black outfit, which included a Max Mara cashmere coat, Valentino mules, a Chanel purse and Princess Diana's Cartier watch. Looked simple and sleek, but set Markle back more than $11,000. The former suit star's penchant for expensive fashion is a drastic turn from Catherine's take on what to wear when stepping out of Buckingham Palace. British royals expert Hilary Fordwich explained that Princess of Wales's fashion choices send the message of being relatable for the British people in a way that culture-clad Meghan Markle's clothing choices demonstrate she sure doesn't appreciate. Fashion expert Melissa Rivers claimed that one reason the women have adapted to distinct styles is due to their vastly different public-facing roles. Catherine, the future queen, has royal etiquette restrictions, while Markle is living in the United States again and is free to show off her classic California flair. They both dress beautifully, but man oh man does Meghan wear rich girl clothes, Rivers said. Catherine can't do that other than a piece here and a piece there. She wears Alexander McQueen coat dresses and she does have a lot of very expensive clothing, but she uses it very judiciously. Meghan is thirsty to show that everything is fine behind the scenes and that she's being her authentic self. But honey, no one knows the true you. You change your authenticity so much that it's impossible to keep up. So please stop flashing your net worth in the faces of the people struggling to keep their heads above water. It became obscenely clear during the fake royal tour of New York that Meghan doesn't care about the poor. These are the same poor people who must use food stamps and rely on charities in order to live. Who wears almost $500,000 worth of designer goods to a school where food is given out for free? To make it worse, asking the parents for $5 for a picture book that is utterly boring and uninspiring, when the money can be spent on worthwhile things like toiletries, reveals how out of touch the woman really is. Her latest all-black ensemble doesn't scream designer, despite the hefty price tags, including $800 Valentino flats and a stack of gold bands on her wrist, with the famous Cartier love bracelet worth nearly $7,000 sparkling in between. In December, the Princess of Wales sported a neon green off-the-shoulder dress by Solace London, which retails for $420, to attend the Earthshot Prize Awards with Prince William in Boston. Catherine rented the dress for the ceremony, which celebrated actionable solutions to environmental problems. I loved this look on her, Rivers said. This whole thing was all about sustainability, and this is a perfect example of fit making a dress that isn't expensive, look expensive. And you're wearing that choker, I mean, do any of us get past that? Catherine's pristine choices also reflect her dedication to a 